We have the new moon at 20 degrees of Capricorn happening on January 11th at 3.57 a.m. Pacific, which is 6.57 a.m. Eastern. Check your local time to see when this lunar event is occurring for you. Welcome to the first new moon of 2024. And the cool thing is, this being a new moon, it's about fresh starts, and we're opening it up in cardinal energy. Cardinal energy is about initiating something new. Of course, that's what we're hoping to gain from this lunar event. And in terms of the quality, energetically this new moon is mixed bag there's definitely some rough around the edges energy going on during this lunar situation a lot of it is just because of the transits that we're having throughout this week but also certain connections that is happening to this moon of course the energy going on during this lunation is reflecting on the vibes on the graph emotional sensitivity will be present from the 11th to the 12th so this first 24 hours of this lunar event we might feel on edge for that reason however we are in a persevering sign like Capricorn with this moon and so we're going to see a lot of ambitious energy pop up along with some good luck energy from the 11th to the 13th. I know most don't associate good luck with Capricorn energy but because of the transits that are going on around this point in time we could stumble on to some fortunate moments during this lunar event and that's also because we're taking action. Capricorn energy is about putting your nose to the grindstone and so we may be doing that through this week and just craving some sort of momentum, craving the ability to actually move through a lot of obstacles that we might have been experiencing, especially over this last six weeks since that Mercury retrograde that has happened in the sign of Capricorn. But that will be something we focus on once I get to the transits portion of this video podcast. So here we are kicking off the year with fresh cardinal energy and a new moon. And for that reason, think about the positive qualities of Capricorn that you'd like to incorporate in your life. What would you like to obtain when it comes down to Capricorn themes in your life? New moons are about setting intentions and incorporating the positive qualities of that zodiac sign. So that way when we get to the full moon in that exact zodiac placement, we can move forward with what's working. We'll tweak the things that need a little bit of alterations before they're ready to go and let go of the things that no longer serve us within that sign. And so think about what you'd like to incorporate in Capricorn energy by the time we get to July 20th of 2024. What kind of actions are you wanting to take to ensure that your objectives come to fruition? It needs to be solidified in your environment regarding Capricorn energy. Of course, when we think of Capricorn, we think of focusing our energy on the right things. And this being the case, is this a period where you're wanting to narrow your focus so that way you aren't wasting your energy on the wrong situations? An energy like this allows us to see where we're exhausting our resources. It shows us where we're investing our energy in the wrong people, places, and things. So that way we're no longer exhausting ourselves in that way. So through this phase, are you ready to narrow your focus and double down on the things that are working? Look into things that are going to bring you a return on investment and pour your time and energy into things that align with your life path. And by doing this, you're setting yourself up for stability and consistency in your life. With that being said, are you ready to build something that's going to stand the test of time? Capricorn energy is about longevity. It's about committing ourselves and investing ourselves into something that's going to be long lasting. So is this a time where you're ready to put in the hard work and patience it takes in order to create a legacy, in order to create something solid that's going to last for decades, in order to create stability on all levels in your life? So this could be finance and other things that create outward security. It could be committing yourself to a project or even committing yourself to a long-term relationship. But whichever one it is, through these things, you're looking to build something that's not fleeting. Even if that does take time, you're gearing up for something that will be long-lasting. And so to gain those things, is this a period where you're wanting to be more disciplined in your life? It doesn't have to be these things, but it could be some other situations in your life that you're wanting to become more rigid about a few things. Not rigid in the extreme sense, because some rigidity is necessary in life, and then there's some that's obviously a lower vibrational way of doing things. But really and truly, sometimes we need to be a little inflexible in certain areas of life. This could show up as setting limits on ourselves when it comes down to behaviors that are counterproductive in our lives. So if we're doing something that's unconstructive and we want to become more disciplined in that area so that way we aren't doing said behavior, this could be a phase to work on that. 
For some people, this might look like working on behaviors that prevent us from having a good quality of sleep at night. In other words, getting disciplined when it comes down to a bedtime routine. And that could look like no screen time, meaning being on your computer, being on your phone, you know, at least an hour or two before bed. It could be limiting your caffeine consumption before bed. Or just getting disciplined enough to limit anything that's impeding your sleep hygiene. Discipline can be other things in life, but this is definitely one of those examples of where we want to get more focused and restrict unconstructive behaviors that are not allowing us to be the best versions of ourselves. And with this discipline comes mastery. Is this a period where you're wanting to become masterful in some sort of area of life? Capricorn energy has to do with becoming an authority. It has a lot to do with getting on the right life path for us, which usually translates into our career. So with this, is this the year that you finally get on track when it comes down to your career goals? Are you ready to ascend when it comes down to your occupation? So this could be a period of taking the necessary steps and creating the right strategies to ensure you're stepping forward in the world and showing what you're made of. You've done the hard work in the background and now you're ready to show off your mastery. Some of this could be through a traditional job. Some of this could be through entrepreneurship. Some of this could be about creating a huge project that you're wanting to put out into the world as well. So whatever you're trying to attempt, this could be your time to become visible. That way you're seen by higher ups. That way you're seen by companies. That way your big project gets the attention of the public. And so this translates into projecting an image that holds a lot of influence in the world. So doing all of these works can help you build a solid reputation plus respect for your mastery and dedication that you're putting out into the world. Look at these transits and see what we can expect from this lunar event. As a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps this channel grow. And if you'd like to support the work of this channel, you could do so by buying me a fresh cup of coffee. There's a link in the description box below. Energetically, this new moon has some edge to it. We have a mix of harmonious transits along with some difficult transits that are going on during this lunar event. The chart ruler for this is Saturn because it rules Capricorn. And it just so happens to be making complicated alignments to the sun and moon and the nodes, which can point out some unconstructive habits that we've been participating in. So this could give us a nudge needed to work on ego issues. It can give us the nudge needed to work on our emotions, especially if we've been emotionally dysregulated. It can show where we're making the wrong types of compromises in our life, especially in our close relationships, that's holding us back from forward movement overall. However, Saturn will be in a sextile with Venus and also in a connection with Mars that can help us take action on financial goals, relationship goals, or where we can finally take action on things that have been on the back burner for a while. And speaking of which, Mercury is still in Sagittarius at the time of this new moon. It's going to go back into Capricorn on the 13th. Bring this up because we did have a Mercury retrograde in Capricorn and Sagittarius. So within a few days, it'll be back in Capricorn. And this is the post shadow. So it's going to show us where we can finally have some forward movement on things that might have been on hold, especially through the month of December. This is one of those reasons why we're seeing some momentum in that ambitious energy despite the fact that there are hard transits occurring during this lunar event. So this, along with that Capricorn stellium that we have with the luminaries Mars and Pluto, it's going to help us make some sort of transformation. It's going to help us shift things and take some actions that help us land on some fortunate opportunities. And speaking of the luminaries, they're also making a trine with Uranus, which may help us unexpectedly break out of certain ruts or have a eureka moment about how to solve complex things that have been going on in our life. So with energy like this, we can feel like we're becoming unstuck, especially during this period, but also through this next six months regarding anything we're trying to build in Capricorn energy. That way we can do things masterfully and see some much needed progress. Anyway, I hope you all have the best new moon in Capricorn ever later and see you in the next episode.